complex combines the mathematics textbook, the student's workbook, and the teacher's math book, all in a single app that sits in the cloud. My name is Mo, and I am a math geek. Coming out of uni, I got a job at where math geeks look to work at a derivative trading firm, and I had a really, really good run there. After just four years there, I was named a partner, the youngest partner in the history of the company, and I managed to make myself a million dollars along the way. But at that point, I sort of thought, there's going to be something more than just making money. Uh, I was looking for something more meaningful. And that's where my co-founder, Chris Bellis, who had started a tuition company a few years earlier, approached me with the idea of scaling the tuition model using the power of technology. Of course, the, the math geek in me was, was sold on the idea, and we went and found our brilliant CTO, Alvin Savoy, and we never looked back. So what's the problem we're solving? Students today are still using the same textbooks that I used when I was at school, that my parents used when they were at school, and their parents used when they were at school. We recognize that's not the way kids learn today. So we're getting the hardware into the schools, we're getting the laptops, we're getting the tablets, but the software simply hasn't caught up. In fact, the software that does exist is almost entirely multiple choice guessing games, clearly inadequate at the secondary level. And the kids recognise it, and that's why they're running to tuition. As expensive as it is, they still require that tuition. And it's because there's a gap in the market, and MathSpace is looking to plug that gap. So how do we do it? For the very first time, students are able to write their answers to a maths problem step by step. We then convert their handwritten text to digital form, and we built a math engine that's able to mark them every step of the way. So we flag that incorrect step immediately for immediate attention. And then we're able to provide hints and suggestions while they're going through their work. It's like having a personal tutor sit over your shoulder while you're going through your maths homework. Now, the benefits don't end there. You see, we've now digitalized the workbook. And by digitalizing the workbook, we've created a teacher interface where teachers can assign and manage homework with a few simple clicks of their mouse. And then they get the benefits of that real-time monitoring. And when I say real-time monitoring, I'm not talking about what they got right and what they got wrong. But I'm talking about exactly where in the process that they're falling over. And we give them that information and we put it at their fingertips. So we've not given only the information that they require to teach their class, but we've given them the time to actually do something about it. Now, mathematics is a global language. There are 460 million secondary students and they all speak mathematics. That's with middle or high income. That is our addressable market. And they spend up big on education, $100 billion on tuition by 2018. The Asia is one of the biggest spenders on education, $14 billion a year in Japan on tuition. Now in Australia, where we're from, the average textbook, about $80. In India, the Arcash 2 tablet is being released and made available to students for just $20. We're going to see a huge transition from the physical textbook to the digital tablet based purely on cost, if nothing else. And MathSpace is in the perfect position to take advantage of that. So how do we make money? We sell subscriptions to both schools and individuals. And we have varied pricing depending on whether it's on a desktop or a tablet. And you'll see why in a second. Last year, we launched our desktop application. We had 50 pilot schools participating in a trial. Of those, we converted 24%, 12 schools, for a total revenue of 40,000. This year, we launched our iPad version. We've been going at it for four months. We've had five schools trialing it and converted 80%. Four of the five schools have converted for $35,000 in revenue. And the fifth school actually called last week saying they want to re-enter negotiations. So who's our biggest competitor? Is it A, B, C, D? What all our competitors have in common is that's how they ask their questions. A, B, C, D. They recognize that what we're doing is different. So much so 
that the four of them have approached us wanting to work with us. And multiple publishers have approached us wanting to, to work with us. So, as I said, derivative trading is a lucrative job. Uh, the founders actually seeded the company with $1.2 million. We're in the middle of a round, we've raised $1.1 million, and we're looking for strategic investors to help us get into other markets with distribution to raise another $1.4 million. So that's Thank you. <laughs> and yes, we have any questions for two minutes. Uh, I thank uh, you for a very interesting service and especially focus on the mathematics. Uh, and we create the mathematics I can use. <laughs> and so, uh, 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 who could you see uh, using this science? Because uh, I don't know uh, uh, the, uh, the, the amount of the target customer uh, scale, the market scale, uh, how So for the moment, we've, we've been really focused on, on the school for, for the users, and that, that's not our end game. That's, that's just to, to, um, to get that validation in the market that this is something that's going to be uh, valuable to, to, to schools and students, and we've, we've proven that so far. But what we're really looking at to get that scale, I mean, the schools, the sales cycle for a school, it takes six months. For a school, from the time you meet them to the time they sign a contract, six months. So we're actually looking at developing a direct-to-consumer model, a freemium model where we offer the desktop version free of charge, and we we upgrade to the to the uh, iPad, and that's how we expect to get that reach out there without building a massive sales team. One last question. Sorry, no, just one. Who wants the curriculum and what's proprietary about Masters? Uh, so, we've built the, the mathematical engine, so we actually draw meaning from every one of those steps that students enter them into the, into the system. Uh, we've built the mathematical engine that actually deciphers that meaning and, and can mark it as correct or incorrect in the context of the question. That's where the, uh, the intellectual problem is. Right, and, and the curriculum, like the questions and all, where we're coming from. Yeah. So they're all built in-house, all the content is owned by MathSpace. Uh, all built in house, and, and that's why it's it's it's, it's cost the, the money that it has over the time that it has. Um, and what one thing we found is to maps being a global language to actually launch to other markets, we've already covered 80% of the UK curriculum, for example, just by uh, the Australian curriculum. Ask a question. I don't know if I missed it or not. What's the your background and why you guys uh, uniquely suited to do this business? So. Being a, a math geek, I've actuarial studies background at university, um, and as I worked as a derivative trader, where I was actually lead, uh, head of the, the robot trader project as an algorithmic trader, where we really see the benefits of that data, that feedback while you trade, and getting that to automate the the, the hit process. So uh, the rest of the team, other co-founder is a math tutor, has been doing that for six years. And the final guy is our CTO and uh, 10 years experience with web startups. This is his first one as, as co-founder. Cool. Thank you. So this is just cheap advice, but the Khan Academy uh, founder is also a trader, right? Yeah, it seems yeah, to you be. You should uh, totally use that. It's a cheap device, but you should use that too. Like he's a uh, he was a trader. He's got a good business. I'm going to do that too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a common thing with uh, doing traders getting into math. Cool. That's what I'll have to get into. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.